What's going down, brothers? Brother Stevani is here, Command Center Wargaming. Fantastic. So, guys, I'm very, very excited because I've been filming all day today, and I'm happy to report that the first special 2020 4K Stevanius Gold tutorial has been completed, and it is literally uploading right now to YouTube. So, look, I don't know how long it's going to take. Um... It took me like a couple of hours to film a thing, a couple of hours to edit the thing, and a couple of hours to upload the thing, about five hours to render it out. Um, it's in 4K, guys, which is fantastic, and I really, really want to be pushing to do some premium tutorials on the channel for 2020. It's one of my milestones. Now, I would have liked to have done more last year, um, but as a lot of you know, um, I have a brutal working life, so in my day job, so sometimes it's not always possible to to come out and, you know, just sit there and spend a whole one or two days on one video um, to the quality that I would like to get it to. So uh, I really want to sort of push that in 2020, push the production value of the videos, especially tutorials. Now, the tutorial that's uploading now uh, is... Oh, it's going to take ages to process, guys. Probably another hour or two, but we'll see. Um, basically, what I did, I did a magnetizing tutorial, and we, we basically looked at this contemptor, and I took you through the start and the finish of just magnetizing the whole thing um, with full articulation, but I won't spoil it. It's all there in 4K. So if you've got 4K resolution monitors, brothers, enjoy. If not, it's still going to look really good at, uh, at 1080p. Um, now, it is a longer tutorial. It goes for about an hour or something. You don't have to like watch the whole thing for now. I'm going to index it. The thing is, the way I magnetize, it is a pretty in-depth process. So the way I see it, guys, look, you, know, you all know, you want the five-minute wham, bam, slam, thank you, sister of battle tutorial. It's not really the channel. I go pretty in-depth for my tutorials, maybe a little bit too in-depth. But the way I see it, it's better sort of like over than under, you know. Um, and I feel as though I have a lot of, to offer the community in terms of my modeling knowledge because, you know, 90% of it I don't really get from anywhere. I kind of work the stuff out for myself. So, um, yeah, magnetization, that's the first tutorial. So I keep, I keep looking back over there because it's, it's uploading on the other computer. Um, the, the Ultramarines one, I'm going to start tomorrow. Now, I didn't do the Ultramarines one first because it's a new camera I got. And, um, and I just wanted to sort out some of the bugs first, you know, sort of have a bit of a practice because this one's a freaking epic tutorial. I'm really proud of it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, but the Ultramarines one is just going to be epic. Like it's, it's going to be like epic and you can watch it in 4k, you know, I go through, I'm going to walk you through all the steps, all the paints. I'm going to sh show you the links where to get the paints because what these tutorials, the, the 2020, Stevanius, Brother Stevanius gold tutorials are going to be um, about is basically not just like, oh, here's how you paint ultramarines. Oh, you give me all bloody ultramarine blue and bloody wash it in null oil and here you go. You've already got that, right? We've already got that, you know, and it's no fun for me to make that either. Maybe I'll do a standard, you know, Harry Noob tutorial on how to paint ultramarines for super beginners. But the thing is, guys, is that, like, we've already got that, you know, War, uh, uh, Games Workshop pumped those out every hour, right? So, my mission with the 2024K Brother Stevanius Gold Tutorials are basically to deliver tutorials that are different, abstract. So, you know, new Dark Angel schemes that no one's seen before or that are different, you know? Um, emerald greens or something like that, you know, or, you know, sort of like pink and blue death guard or something. Not that we're going to do that. It's probably not the best combo, but, um, you know, just doing things different stuff that you wouldn't see, um, you know, on other channels, sort of thinking outside the box. Um, and we will do standard stuff as well. Definitely, you know, the good old ultramarine blue. Um, but I, I just want to sort of take it to another sort of like, you know, a bit of an abstract thing going on. Um, yeah, because a lot of the work I do um, is actually, you know, running around experimenting and just mixing paints and stuff like that. Um, and I, I think it, it's going to be fantastic. So I'm really, really looking forward to those guys. Now, with that said, the way it's going to work with the tutorials is, here's the other thing as well, which is going to be epic. So the, the miniatures which I paint, 
if we can get the videos up to 3,000 views within like, I don't know, maybe a month or two, three months or something, guys, I am going to give that miniature away to a subscriber, right? It'll work like the good old days of the prizes where we'll have a video. If you comment, you say like, you know, buy the lighting and the Tempest Emperor deliver us or something like that. You speak the words and we get, if we can get to 3,000 subscribers, then I will post it to a, I will post the model that we paint out on the channel over to a subscriber. So long as you live in, you know, a habitable part of the world. Sorry, I can't post to Antarctica. But you guys know the drill, how it works with, with prizes and giveaways and stuff like that. All right. So that's going to be like absolutely fantastic. Now, the second thing is, okay, which is going to be absolutely freaking epic, brothers, is that I want you, you to help me to decide what tutorials to do. Okay. So the Ultramarines one is coming up. Stavanius pattern number one is going to be 100 patterns of Ultramarines. Don't worry. We're going to go through metallics. We'll go through lacquers. We're going to go through freaking uh, uh, just normal acrylics, you know. Okay. Um, then I'm going to do a Grey Knights one because I think Grey Knights are going to be a thing next year. And I want to show you how I do my special ultimate blinding silver. All right, now you think my stuff is shiny, guys? I'm gonna show you some shit that is gonna literally like blind you for 30 seconds when you look at it. Like, I'm gonna show you show you some techniques. You ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen shiny yet. And in my eyes, like Grey Knights, you know, should be a little bit shiny because it's about that sort of steel, you know, kill the demon, kill the vampire, you know, steel bullet kind of shit, you know. So we've got that one with Ultramarines with Grey Knights. I've got about 10 Alpha Legion tutorials that I want to get through. Um, maybe not my personal scheme. We'll see. We'll dep it depends how many subs we can get. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. But guys, there are about 10 other schemes that I've researched that are freaking epic, um, including Gunmetal, Alpha Marines, uh, Alpha Legion Marines, which looks awesome. Um, you know, and all this kind of other stuff. Um, you know, that we'll go through on the channel, um, all the Alpha Legions that were awesome, but didn't quite make it to my number one spot, you know, my personal armor. But like I said, we'll see how that works. We'll see how that goes. Um, so guys, let me know in the comments down below. It's very, very simple. Okay. Let me know in the comments down below, brothers, what tutorials you want me to see. I want you to tell me because you guys are going to be watching this stuff. And like I said, the way it works now, there will be ads on these tutorials, guys. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm just going to say it straight up. They literally take me a day to film a thing. I'm, where, I'm using thousands of dollars of cameras. I've just replaced my lapel. It was like $600, okay? Um, you know, the whole day rendering and re-rendering and editing and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm sorry. There are going to be a few ads uh, in there, but we're just going to have to deal with it, okay? Um... You know, and stuff like that, because you know we have to, we have to, they ha we have to get something going. The other thing is as well, the ads help you know YouTube to sort of lift it up a little bit um, in the rankings as well, which is what we need. But guys, because the ads are on it, if you guys can help me to get the views, what that will do, you know, if I can get thirty bucks from ads to pay for posting the mini out to you to supplement that cost then that means that I, I'll send... Look, I'll be honest, I'm probably going to send the bloody miniature out anyway as a giveaway. But guys, look, if you can help me get some views on these videos by sharing them around, um, I'd be much obliged, okay? So it's basically... Yeah. And, and look, guys, if it works out, if the videos do really well, I want to keep doing more of them. Still processing at 0%. I want to be doing more of them, but they are a massive undertaking to do. It's not just like these webcam videos... Um, where you basically go through and you just, oh yeah, quick, you hit the button, record it, send it up, and then you go out, paint a friggin' you know, a mini. Um, you know, it's full on, full on hardcore. And you see it when you see, I think you'll understand when you see the quality of the of the first Brother Stevanius 2020 gold tutorial. And I said, I hope you'll like it. And please give me your feedback, guys. I'm also working on a new intro and new logo as well, but that's less important. Okay, so uh, yeah. Now, just to let you know as well how things are going to be happening in 2020. 
So not all videos will have like ads and stuff like that because I still I can't stand ads, guys. I I, I freaking hate them. Okay, I reckon it's it's, it's bullcrap. But like I said, at the same time, you know, if I'm going to spend a whole day making a video and some like 16 year old girl from Sweden can dip a bloody mini in nail oil. Uh, get 150,000 subscribers in two months and have everybody going, yay, in the comments, she's got like four videos up there and then she riddles them with ads. I'm sorry, you know, I mean, what are you contributing, little girl, you know? But we all know how that works, you know? When a little chicky comes along, they they post like a mini dipped in null oil on a toothpick and then everyone sits there going, oh my God, thank God, right? So but that's cool, but look, the way I see it, if she could put ads on stuff, then I'm going to be putting ads on stuff. I'm a professional filmmaker and I'm good at what I do. Okay. And basically, if I'm going to spend a day of my life doing the video, you know, like we can earn $5 to put back into the channel or to accumulate some money to send out some more prizes and things like that or giveaways. And there will be a giveaway coming soon. Okay. Um, a holiday giveaway. Um, and so it will be awesome. Okay. But uh, yeah, so yeah, so the other thing is, so what we're going to do, I'm going to keep doing these webcam videos. So there's going to be like the news, right? The news is going to be here. There'll just be a little ad, banner ad, ad that comes up, you know, earns like a cent, you know, and basically that's just the news, right? But then the mega tutorials and stuff like that, you'll have those skippable ads and stuff, right? But the, the news is basically going to be current and we're we'll doing it all the time. Um, and the the tutorials, the more sort of long-term content um, that will be sort of like higher production value, you know, filmed out, edited properly, stuff like that, okay? So that's kind of the way it's, it's going to work. There's going to be a mix. It's kind of be like, you know, sort of like, you know, average sort of quality, quick, fast, you know, get to the news as fast as we can, cover it, have a chat videos, and then you've got your, you know, your epic tutorial videos, like, you know, your bloody fine cast sort of, Forge World videos and balance it out like that. So I'm really excited, guys. Um, I think it's a good mix. Um, you know, I'm not excited about this price here, but anyway, I think it's a good mix. Um, guys, we've been going for a year now. I just want to thank everybody so much. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for sticking to the channel, for being subscribed. You're all freaking awesome. Um, when I started this channel, like, I, I, had, I had no idea that, like, I'd even get 10 subscribers. Um, and I know there are bigger channels and I know that, you know, there's channels that get like 30k subs in like a week or something, but guys, I don't care about the number of subscribers. I've always said that, like what I'm concerned is, is the, is the quality of the subscribers and that, you know, you guys, you know, are in cohesion and in sync with me, you know, I'd rather be having epic chats in here, you know, like we do. Uh, and have a tight-knit community than have like 100,000 subscribers and then no one's saying anything, right? So it's going to be fantastic. And remember, guys, please always give me feedback. First of all, i just like to apologize. I, I mispronounced um, the uh, the name of the model. I said it was Lazarus, I think. Uh, I believe everybody's saying it, it's like Lazarus or something, right? I apologize. I didn't mean it. I probably just butchered it again. But basically, look, uh, I, it wasn't intentional. Sorry if any of offense. I, I didn't mean to offend anybody. Um, I know it's a biblical reference. I know about the biblical reference. I, um, you know, I just, I'm just remembering how Cain said it from Command and Conquer. <laughs> so, man, I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean any offense um, to anybody. Full respect. Uh, it doesn't matter. But I'm like, you know, I'm a Catholic myself, so I get you. You know. Um, you know, like, so it's all good, all right? Not to bring up that, you know, really, it should have nothing to do with this on the channel, but I'm just saying, I didn't mean to offend anyone, it wasn't an intentional thing, okay? It's just me, I just, when I do a video, especially videos like this, they're raw, I don't edit these videos that go up on the, on the, on the camera, so a lot of the time, I just blah, 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 spit out words, they don't always come out correctly. Tony Bruschonio will know all about that. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so anyway, guys, that's that. Now, moving on just quickly, just to have a bit of a chat some more. Guys, I've been looking here, and I actually want to just to talk about some of these new releases or re-releases that are coming out of the Dark Vengeance box, um, but then I saw this, and this is an Australian price, so don't freak out, everybody. Uh, seriously, if you're in the US or whatever, this is just Australia. We just get like taxed because we're in Australia. Um, 
But guys, that's insane. This box, when it was released a couple of years ago, was $230. 230 Australian dollars. And now it's $438. Can you believe that? We've done a pricing video before, guys. And I was talking about, you know, I said, I said, I said, I said, guys, this isn't a one off thing from Games Workshop. Games Workshop are going to keep on pumping these prices. It's going to get freaking ridiculous. Now, guys, I'm telling you, man, I don't know, like, there's no way I'm spending $438 on that box. No way. That's double the, nearly double the price of what it was before. You know, man, I, I'm inclined to ring the China, man, you know, and be like, hey, bro. You know, because this is, this is, this is insane. Guys, what are you doing, GW? You're going to lose so much business. I don't know what it is, if it's Bretix or what the hell's going on there, bros. But these prices are just freaking off the chart. Man, people pay this much in rent. This is someone's rent for one week, man. Anyway, I love you, Games Workshop. But bros, you, you can't go on like this, man. You, people going to stop buying your stuff. You know, like, I'm not rich, but I'm not poor. You know what I mean? Like I, like, I earn a good living. I work very hard. I work like a bloody trooper. You know, I can tell you that right now, like a bloody guardsman in the trench. But, but, but that, like, no way. I can't justify that. You know, and I say, oh, yeah, you know, but it's a limited release. So does that mean I can get my, I can get my Dark Angels box that's unopened and literally sell that for double the price on eBay now because it's at 438 I don't know, guys. Well, it's not unopened, technically. I did pull some models out of it. So, what they've done here, you know, they've put in your stocking fillers like they did with the the uh, Psychic Awakening, not Psychic Awakening, Blood of the Wallet, I call it. Um, the Eldar box, right? And, um, and they've tried to put in these metal models to sort of justify it. Now, the models that you get, this is actually what I wanted to cover because I saw them. I thought, this is pretty cool because... You know, like a lot of the stratagems and that will, will, will synergize, you know, with the Dark Angels army. And um, the models, so you get Chief Interrogator Asmodia, Asmodia, Veteran Sergeant Naman, Cypher, and Veteran Sergeant with Chainsword and Plasma Pistol. Right, so you can see those models here. That's That would be Veteran Sergeant Naman. I'd say, or nah, man, or however it is you want to say it. I'm sorry if I've stuffed that up, and if it's from the Bible as well, I, I do apologize. Um, and then this would be the Veteran Sergeant with Plasma Pistol, I assume. And that's looking like Cypher, but it's the older model. And that's clearly a chaplain, because he's got the, you know, the, the Crozius. Okay, so, you know, it's a cool model. All right, yeah, it says as Asmo, Asmodia on his on his uh, banner, okay? So, cool model, but still, guys, I don't know if four minis are worth that price increase. And I understand it's a special edition order and all that, but I'm sorry, knowing what it used to cost before, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, but anyway, these models are really cool. Um, let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you're getting this box. Please, like, don't let me sway your opinions. Not that it would. Um, you know, I know all our subscribers are very self-thinking. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on here listening to me. Um, you know, we'd all be following the shoe train. Um, but let me know what you think. Um, you know, if you're getting these, you know, I'm just interested to see if anybody is going to be forking out for this. Um, and I completely understand, look, guys. A lot of people say, well, you know, oh, price isn't an issue, you know, and that's fine, man. That's completely fine to me. I mean, I'm not here to say, you know, what's right or wrong. I'm just giving my opinion, sharing my thoughts, a little bit of a, you know, Warhammer chat therapy, if you will, on things. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested to hear your guys' thoughts on the price. Let me know if you're getting the box. Um, let me know if those models here are enough to sway your opinion on the box. Um, it should be very interesting. I know there's a few people who were on the fence um, in the, our subscriber base about it. Um, yeah, uh, I was even thinking about perhaps getting another box of these of the Dark Vengeance just for the lols because, like, I used to love the box. It was such a good box. Um, but now, at this price point, I don't know what it is in the US. I mean, I could probably switch the tab over. What are, what are the US brothers paying for it? Well, let's look at the UK brothers first. 
So UK, 160 pounds. It's still pretty steep, but nowhere near as much as the good old like Australian island tax. Um, and then we got the US. So the US is always usually, I think, pretty decent. 270 US dollars, which is still pretty blooming cheap. Uh, sorry, pr pretty blooming expensive. So, um, yeah. Oh, well, look, what can you do, guys? Um, I'm not going to lose my excitement because I'm happy about these tutorials. And, um, you know, and I'm really looking forward to the hobby next year in 2020. Um, and, yeah, so, guys, look, I'm going to keep churning out some tactical marines and keep painting these guys up. I'm going to start undercoating that... Uh, that relic contemptor there and I'll catch you in the next video which will most likely be the uh, which will most likely be the first 2020 brother Stevanius gold tutorial on magnetizing your miniatures and I know you probably all know how to do that guys but I just thought like I think I've got a pretty good method of doing it and I just wanted to share it with you guys and guys let me know if you think it's crap tell me all good I, I want to learn from you guys too all right everybody Brother Stevani is here. I'll catch you again. Um, maybe tomorrow. Could be the next day. See how we go. Um, but I may be doing some sort of intro and outro work tomorrow. Maybe get that logo up. So when we do the so when we do the Ultramarines tutorial, I could package it out all together. So when we spread it out to the social medias, you know, uh, it kind of looks it. Because I really want I really want this Ultramarines tutorial to pop, guys. Um, I want it to be like a like a like a premiere, like a flagship tutorial. Um, you know, like one of our top videos. That's what I'm aiming for um, for this video. Anyway, everybody, for the emperor, keep rolling, and I'll catch you in the next video. Brother Stevanius out.